All right, everybody. Hello, hello. I am back with a yet again another tutorial, and today I'm going to be covering this, this uh, color effect that. comments on this and I will be doing this as a request so um let's get right into it here working on a little something something this is a full angle so you guys want this type of thing right here so let's go to a new project alright let me just get I'm going to be using the same footage of for comparison, uh, comparison purposes. Um, oops, what's the fun? Oh. Alright, here we are. So with our clip, we just bring this over some. Oh, and I also wanted to say thank you for nearly a hundred subs. I truly appreciate that. And I'm actually really astonished on how fast I've grown in comparison to some other people. Some people like go two weeks and get like only one sub, but y'all have been showing. A lot of love and support. I just wanted to say thank you. Alright. So. Here we are. Now. To apply the effect. This must be on an adjustment layer. Alright. And. Double switches mode. Um. The mode must be set to color. If not you get like a really ugly looking. Yeah so. What we're going to do is. We're going to apply optic compensation to this. Alright. And all you mainly want to do is put this field of view up to about 100, what, 100 and something, 140, whatever. Um, I'm going to just leave it like 126 or something like that. Alright. So. I know it looks weird right now, but hang in there. Turbulent. The turbulent displaced. And you can already kind of see a little color thing in there. A little orange. Turbulent displaced. Alright, so here, you leave this on turbulent. Turn the amount up to about 60. And size 100. That's what I need. Mean. Now, for the offset, like 800, 750, 800 ish. For that, and like 5. 50 and complexity uh to about so I'll leave it to plus six. And the evolution in you can keyframe the evolution to make it all loopy and stuff like that. Oh and make sure this is on horizontal always. And forgot one crucial thing, turn on reverse lens distortion. Alright? You see, we already basically got the whole color thing going on right now, actually. It's kind of dumb to do. If you want to stop here, you can. I mean, you've got the basic thing, but if you want more, want it more colorful, I'd say. Um, let's go hue saturation. Now, for this clip, I'd leave the color like this to, you know, because the fire and the orange and yellow. But for other clips, you can change this. See? Change the color of that. So, for the hue saturation settings, you don't need to change anything here. If you just want it to change colors, you can keyframe that or 
just roll this if you want the color to change. Alrighty. So now, what we're going to apply is some glow. Glow. Oops. Oh, and would y'all like a tutorial on how to get some of these plugins that I have here? Alright, this glow radius. We just turn that up to a crispy uh, um, 100, actually. Yeah, and now we just threshold to like 54 or something like that. Make sure this is on color channels, okay? And leave all this, the settings should be correct already. Um, I've never used this. Okay, this really doesn't do anything. I'll just leave it alone on the safe side but leave all this alone it's already on what you need so um we're going to need colorama next so i can apply this and now you see we got a whole bunch of freaky stuff going on here all right so we have many options to choose from um, that that, 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 and it could really just give us a whole colorful thing. So I'm going to go for uh, you know, golden. That looks that looks bad. Um, hue cycle. I guess, I guess I'll go hue cycle. Now, depending on the color that you want. Well, no, no. Depending on how much of the screen you want to be gray and how much you want colorful, you could click on one of these like that and just move that over so it kind of takes the, that color away and replaces it with another so it's going to take this blue away so now we have these two colors right here or three so what we can do is go to hue saturation and we can just mess around with this all right so now to animate it to get the little warpy like thing that i displayed here, here, evolution. Uh, so I'm going to start a keyframe. Click this. Oops, click the stopwatch. And I'm going to drag it. The amount of frames doesn't matter. I mean, depending on how long like you want it to last. Or how smooth you want it to work. I just uh, drag it to the end. And. Yeah. Well, not. Um, this may move a little too fast. There we go. So, so now we got this. Oops, let me drag the thing. So it just loops. Alright. If you don't like those colors, you are free to change them. Really. There's no real penalty, really. Or it won't ruin any effect. Oh, let me actually. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me see what happens when I move this upwards. It's above glow. Okay. Um, do situation. Okay, so it doesn't appear, well, it does kind of appear that the order of these effects does kind of matter, depending on the way you want it to look. So, yeah, see, it kind of looks a little bit better, if you will. Mm-hmm. Let's play with a little bit more, um, Colorama settings. Mm-hmm. also drag this around and kind of enhances the green in some parts if you will so yeah you're free to move that or this or you can even change the color here so uh, yeah 
So I hope this was a good enough tutorial. I hope I did a good job in explaining. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or my kick, which I will also be leaving in the description. Thank you for your time and have a great day.